what's up guys welcome back all right so today we are getting into some wednesday scrims so it's definitely going to be quite interesting seeing that we're starting things off on the sanok map and of course well got a few teams in the lobby getting ready to get everything rolling so just waiting for the teams to join on up so we can get the party started but of course as per usual give us your predictions in the chat who do you think is going to be clutching it out we'll be of course having a quick look at those teams once we get the match underway so first things first we're going to start it off on the sanok map after which we're going to be moving on in to what is the next one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> it's here somewhere all right so uh yeah i think the first one is going to be sanok and then of course it's going to be a different one from after that i can't seem to find where it is stating that uh you know we're going to have the certain lineup of maps but either way we're going to be jumping straight up into the thing just waiting to see the teams a little bit slow up. Oh, there we go. Sanok, Irangel, then Murmar. So interesting lineup coming in with the matches here today. So just waiting to see how many teams or rather how many players are going to be in the lobby. We've got about 66 at the moment. I can sit here and talk for hours, but I don't want to <laughs> torture you guys with all of those things. Right, so just waiting to see who is uh, going to make it in on time. But of course, like I said, Please give us your predictions. Let us know who do you think is going to be clutching it out across these three games for the day. And of course, tell us your team, who you are supporting, the team that you are rooting for. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you have not done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below over there somewhere. Uh, yeah, leave us a like alongside your comment and let's see how these matches go. Quite excited to see what the teams will be doing. I've been keeping an eye on the teams over the past few days or so. So, so far, it's been fairly interesting seeing what these guys are coming up with. Even played in one of them myself. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Just waiting for a last few to still come in. But, yeah. In the meantime, let's head on back. Listen to some more music. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you might get bored of my voice. <laughs> but either way. So, yeah, let's quickly jump in to that. And then, of course... We'll be bringing you guys right back as soon as the match gets underway.
Hoping you guys are ready. We are about to get everything started. The match has eventually gone underway. So, well, we're about to jump in, see who we have here. But of course, as I said just a, a little while ago, let us know in the chat who you guys here here supporting. Who do you think is going to clutch it out on the Sanok map? And of course, well, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the match. All right, so here we have it. Everyone now just running around waiting for that flight path to come in play. But of course, now you can see the teams right here. So we've got the players there from the SNGC staff over in slot one. We've got the team from Aces over in two. We've got the Resurrection team in three. Agent over in slot four. Agent Esports, in fact. We've got Mafia over in five. The players there from Wolfback over in slot six. In seven, we've got Death Row. We've got the players from the Escapades over in slot eight. Then, of course, Genocide in slot 9. We have the players from Unknown Sovereigns over in slot 10. In 11, we've got Sons of Anarchy over in slot 12. We've got Kill It. And, of course, the team there from Skooky Esports in 13. and 14, we've got the Zeno Esports team. Kill or Die in 15. In 16, we've got Halo Gaming. We have the players there from Team Sync over in slot 17. In 18, we've got Freeze Gaming. In 19, we've got God Abyss. Over in 20, we've got the Masala Bomb team. In 22, we have the players there from the Hidden Leaf. And of course, in 23, we have the White Wolves. 24 is Zany Aura. And of course, 25 is the team there from the Rotar the Rotators. Someone misspelled their name. Yeah, that looked a bit strange. But of course, you can see that flight path coming in there from Camp Bravo over on the eastern side and heading straight over towards the west, right across over Camp Alpa. So, fairly decent flight path we have there. Just waiting to see where the teams are going to be moving. You see a few of them already heading south. So, let's see. Who will be giving us that first bit of early game action? Of course, give us your predictions. Let us know. And, well, yeah, we'll see from there. All right, so you can see a few teams already moving in right over here. Man, it's going to get stuck. We're quite spicy right here in bootcamp. So the team, of course, now from God Abyss making their way around right here alongside them. We also have the team there moving in from Halo. So waiting to see the players here from God Abyss, of course, taking up possession of the center building. Holding main. Let's see. Will Halo be able to push in? They're fairly well spread out. So just waiting in anticipation. Seems like mom's is waiting up here on the ledge just trying to get a little bit of a visual oh there we go halo moving up will we have some shots it's gonna be close come on push who's gonna be there all right so you can see ad moving up moving up into the opening we got lufin right there alongside phase and caleb of course now just holding up a little bit further towards the back of the team there from the escapades as you can see now up on the hill and see whether or not they're going to try and move in here for potential third party. But of course, I only think that's going to start happening once these shots over here start flying. They will definitely start drawing in the attention. Oh, there we go. The first few hits now coming in on this front. But you can see the aces also now taking those engagements with the rotators. A few long range hits. Nothing crazy coming in just yet. But of course, Zany Aura also now in the kill feed. Skuku also now starting to feature... So several teams now just taking engagements all over the place. Let's quickly jump up here to the rotators. You can see they're quite there in the thick of it. The ace is now down to three players. One getting knocked. Lucky putting in a beautiful shot right there. Oh, there we go. Up comes Grizzly. Oh, Grizzly gets the knock. So we got Nate and Robo now remaining. Nate, of course, going up for the res. Robo getting knocked out in the process. Everything now riding on Nate. And he gets it. Well done. Well played. The rotators getting sent right back into the lobby. There we go. That is what we want. Some early game action. Let's quickly jump up to Pinan and see what we got cooking on this front. You see the team, of course, here from Zeno just making their way around. Right up ahead of them, we've got the Sons of Anarchy. So usually see these teams split up one team on either side of this river. But of course, well, sometimes, like we have right here, the teams actually push on up on the same side. Ooh. Ooh, nice work coming in with that shotgun right there. Aimbot Daddy 
just goes double tap and well down goes devils Here we go, a few more shots now coming in there from Looney as well. Just taking full advantage of the position here. Let's see. Sons of Anarchy now just holding up. You see Aimbot now, of course, being the only remaining player. Anarchy trying to move back for that res. There we go. They might pull it off, but of course, now up comes the team. Oh! Oh, beautiful shots coming in right there. Aimbot's daddy really putting that shotgun to really good use. But of course, now up comes the hits from Devils and sends him right back. All right, so several teams actually now already succumbing to the action. Let's see, jumping up here all the way to the north. Got the players here from Zany, of course, now making their way around. Kilo dying right here alongside them as well as the players from Mafia. So let's see. Will they be able to get this action started? Zany, from what we saw, there was. Yeah, I don't know where that was. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, here we are. Buttons are doing what they want to do. But either way, we are back in the action. We haven't missed anything. That was just a test to see that everyone is still awake. Paying attention. Ooh, there we go. Got a few shots coming in. Where is that? Right over here. Let's jump in. Had a quick few shots just before we left off. There we go. The shots now starting to fly in here from Resurrection. The players, of course, from Team Sync. Just up ahead of them. As you can see, Tanga or Younger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Younger getting knocked out in the process. We've got Holgen now, of course, moving up. Nugget, Jigsaw, and Leonidas right there on that ridge. Moving up slowly but surely. Ooh, Sinner now trying to risk it. Moving up little bit by little bit. Nugget, of course, going in for the res. Fortunately for them, they've got this wall in the way. Some nice hard cover there to make use of. But of course now Potato also contributing to the fight here. Trying to add in a few more hits. Leonidas of course being the one that was taking all those hits. Up comes the Blue Zone now. Forcing these players forward. Let's see. Fortunately for them this is only the first zone. Oh come on. You can do it! So Sync now making their dash for zone. The Unitas and Jigsaw up on the hill, just picking away at the players here from Sync. We got Younger and Sino. Shino. There we go. Sino. <laughs> New name. Come on, let's see. Will Shino be able to get anything done? You can see Wolf, of course, now in the kill feed as well. Several more hits happening all across. The Masala Bomb team now also starting to feature in the kill feed. Several hits taking place all over this map. You can see a few teams now starting to converge on that western side. Of course, also close to Camp Alpha near that bridge. The shots now coming in there from Nugget. Potato getting hit in the process. Oh, Leonidas also now opening fire. Oh, down he goes. It's not every day that you see a blue zone fight. Fortunately for these teams. It is only the first phase. Alright, so they need to get on back up into that zone. Let's quickly jump up over to this northern bridge. Well, the western bridge in the north. There we go. So the players, of course, here now from Hidden Leaf. Leaf starting to move on up. We've got the Masala Bomb team just up ahead. Jedi now about to get thirsted down. He goes... Lobby it is for him, but of course the players here from Masala now just making their way around 3v3. Snowbro trying to pop off a quick few hits into Kiba. Kiba, Kaiba, whatever this one. Snowbro now just getting knocked out in the process, but of course now the team starting to move up. Starting to challenge each other for this position. Down goes Kiba. The see Masala now down to two. Reaper very low on health there as well. Cash now moving up as well. 
Savage just off on the backside. Popping in a quick few shots, taking full advantage of that position there. Right, let's see. Will Riri really be able to do anything? Reaper has been raised back up. Managed to pop in a quick heal as well. See that kill feed, of course, now getting lit up as everyone is starting to take engagements. The players there from Genocide, of course, also coming in in the kill feed, battling it out with the aces. There we go. Dr. Grimm drops the shot. Up comes Savage. Will he be able to make it? No. Down he goes. Kiba now moving up. Oh, Masala with the clutch. Well done. Well played. Right, so you can see we still have a few players held up in the blue zone. But of course, well, we're seeing some pretty crazy plays. The team here from Halo, of course, also managing to hold on to bootcamp. So we're currently left with 15 teams. And of course, that zone has shifted over towards the western edge. Waiting to see where the players are going to be moving on up into. We also have a lone struggler here from the White Wolves. Just held up there in the blue zone. And down he goes. Lost. Just lost. Against the blue zone. Let's move on up. Kilo die. Getting in from the north. Slowly but surely making their way on up in towards boot camp. You see G.I. Joe. Trying to move on in. Okay, so they're deciding to rotate up along the northern edge of the zone. Halo, of course, right there behind them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's jump into this. Look at the players here from Zeno. Right there alongside the staff. Who's gonna get it? We got Dizzy, Light. Ooh, they're actually taking up a very decent approach here. You can see Dizzy and Light there on the opposite end. Devil's now sending that molly right across. But of course, now Wolf and Shark... Also moving in. Players there from Resurrection also on the approach. Just saw them there off in the distance. Coming in from that south eastern side. All right, so now let's see. Are they going to risk it? Are they going to push? Come on, you can do it. All right, so there we go. You can see a few more players now starting to succumb to that zone. The zone now for this one shifting up north. Hmm. That's going to be quite interesting, but there we go. Halo and Kill or Die actually now battling it out right here on the edge. Both teams kind of having the same mindset here. Both of them choosing to rotate up onto this edge. So good, Mrs. Jones there. Ooh, there we go. Dizzy now getting hit there by Roach. G.I. Joe, of course, now getting raised up there by Flash. 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 There we go. Right, any pushes? Not yet. Come, Flash. Give us something quickly. Oh, there we go. See the players there in slot one. The team in slot one, rather, also now getting hit pretty hard over in Pinan. There we go. G.I. Joe getting knocked out there by Caleb. You can see Flash now keeping a watchful eye on Caleb. But of course, FaZe is also moving up. Mrs. Jones now left up on the hill trying to defend. Flash now in a bit of trouble. Ah. All right, let's see. Will Mrs. Jones be able to clutch this one out and save it for the team? Or will the players here from Halo send her backing? Up they come. Oh, surprise attack. And down goes Mrs. Jones. Right there and then. Right, so we got the players here from the Escapades also now just moving up in towards Pinan. See the Reds team just off in the distance there. The staff making their run. Potato really low on health. So he might very well start potatoing it out very, very soon. But of course, let's jump up the hill. Going straight over to Mafia and the team here, of course. Oh, from death row as the shots now just fly on end. You can see the team actually up on the hill. And of course, they've got another player just off on the opposite side. There we go. Lazarus moving on in. Oh. 
Lazarus coming in with the laser shots. As you can see, we've got Trev now being potentially the last remaining player. Yes, definitely. All right, so Trev, the last remaining player here for Mafia. Let's see whether or not they'll be able to move in and get that clutch play. Or are they going to be sent back into the lobby? Mm, you can see that team now just moving in. Death Row. Prepping things up to send Trev here right back into Death Row. Just look at that movement. I don't know if you can see it up on the minimap, but it is looking absolutely insane. Up they come, and well, of course, Trev stood no chance. Down he goes, back to the lobby. All right, so 12 teams remaining. As you can see, Halo moving on up. We've got the staff, of course, right here on the edge. The Zeno team now getting hit as well. Shark actually hiding all the way back out in the blue. Trying to capitalize on the fact that everyone is trying to get on into zone. But of course now the players here from Resurrection. Right here alongside the team. As you can see here the players from Wolfback starting to move up bit by bit. The shots now starting to fly on end. Down goes Nugget. Down goes Holgen. Ooh, just ripping it up. Don't know where the rest of them went though. Oh, they're all the way up in the eastern side of the zone. Interesting split they got there. Well, for them at this point, it kind of paid off. Not losing the full squad in the process. We also have one of the last remaining Aces players actually now moving up. Let's see, will Robo be able to get a bit of a third party going here? Trying to find his way on up in towards zone, of course. Heading in the wrong direction. Zone is the other way. But uh, they might be trying to get in on some of that action. You can see Potato, of course, just off in the distance as well. Alright, so... Ooh, the southern portion is going to be absolutely insane. Just look at the convergence of teams here. The escapades now getting hit in the process as well. The players here from Team Sync... Quite in sync they're putting the shots right across you see the rest of the res team now moving up as well jigsaw and leonidas just up ahead quick shot coming in there there we go the shots now starting to fly on end jigsaw oh the heads coming in right there of course the players just starting to turn up the pressure the team there from the white wolves actually now just bouncing in putting the shots right into sync you can see death throw of course right there behind them jigsaw now going for that res in on leonidas sinner now actually moving up to support his teammate there but the shots of course now starting to fly across all over the place the heads up on the top here going straight into masala bomb as the players of course from the white wolves move in down goes hulk as well alpha now the last remaining hopeful for his team let's see will he be able to clutch it out masala also now suffering a few casualties as you can see of course in the kill feed so Riri now being one of those last remaining players actually trying to find the way across to his teammate but the players over here from kill it actually now just getting slaughtered as they move on up the players here from the wolf back just popping those hits in maverick of course now trying to move up as well you can see the players here from sync right on the edge keeping a very watchful eye on rez but down goes sino shinu said it wrong again up comes the Anidas now beautiful nade just to end things off well don't push up on them like that. You're gonna die. Let's jump over to Maverick. As you can see, he's of course now result uh, resorting to some snaking, moving up right behind Wolf. Gets a quick knock and first, but of course, we got another player moving up on him. There we go. Down he goes in turn. Six teams remain. The players, uh, aside from battling it out with each other, they're also battling it out against this blue zone. See several players, of course, now sitting in the southern portion. But we have the players there from Death Row actually now making that rotation in from the north. And of course, Zeno coming in from the west. So 
So let's see now. Will Zeno be able to move on in? They do have a slight bit of element of surprise in their favor here. No one has really spotted their rotation just yet. They could actually use this and move on in. But of course, now up comes the players here. The White Wolves spotting them out. Alpha getting knocked out in the process. Beast now, of course, not too far behind. But just patiently waiting in the compound. They're not exposing his position just yet. See the players there from death row, of course, just off in the distance. But how's this now? Beast taking full opportunity of this. Looney not focusing too much on this little sh shack up on the top here. Of course, giving Beast the opportunity to just move in and get those hits going. But now also the players here from death row. They've heard the action. They've moved up. So three of the five remaining teams right up on the hill here. You can see the players there from Rez also now taking a few shots. Kari also trying to move on in. Right there alongside Leonide as well. It seems that way from way up here. Death Row, of course, now still just picking away those shots over towards Beast. So this could potentially be quite favorable, actually, for Zeno. Because Beast has now been kind of distracted with the movement coming in here from Death Row. Corey goes down in the process. So that means Wolfback is now back in the lobby. Five teams remain. There we go. So the White Wolves also just succumbing to the injuries. They're getting sent on right back into the lobby. We now have Death Row up against Zeno. And the two remaining players there from Rez. Blade, of course, not pushing up straight towards the compound here. But Looney and Roach just trying to hold up their angles. Let's see. Will they be able to find the hit? There we go. Roach now stepping out. Thinking he's got the angle. Let's see. We got Looney, of course, keeping a very watchful eye through the window here. But of course, one nade could end it all right there for them. Death Row now starting to move on up. Looney opening some doors just to try and improve the visibility there. But of course, you can see the players from Death Row. They actually all the way behind the shack. So full squad still sitting there. So a 2v2v4. So Leonidas and Jigsaw all the way down in zone. Let's see, will Death Row be able to get the jump here? They are just holding on for dear life. I see some smokes now getting deployed there. The team's getting ready to push on to zone. Oh, the heads are just flying in now over towards Zeno. There we go. Of course, now Roach getting knocked out in the process. Spikes also getting knocked. And time is up. The blue zone is about to move on in. Let's see. Will the teams be able to survive this blue zone? Roach and Looney now just starting to make their dash for zone. Oh, but of course, now Rez just capitalizing on their position. Jigsaw actually moving up. Beautiful shot. Gets Lazarus right there, mid-air. So two down, two more to go. We've got Looney and teammate also now moving in. Another shot flying in over towards Mac. Oh, down goes Spikes, Jigsaw. And Zenon finishes off the players there from death row. Let's see now, will Jigsaw be able to make it up to his teammate? The zone, of course, now shifting up once again. Just closing in on itself right there in the central portion of the available zone. So Jigsaw now trying to get this res in on Leonidas. You want to go into the final zone with as many numbers as you possibly can. But of course the players here from Zeno do have a slight bit of a height advantage. Also res can capitalize on their angle. As you see we've got a few rocks, also a few ridges in the way. Oh, there we go. The utility is now getting thrown all over the place. Looney and Roach on the approach. See those nades just finding their way on over towards Looney. Roach now the last remaining player. He's been spotted though and down he goes.
The players from Resurrection sends him right back into the lobby. And of course, they claim the chicken dinner with 10 kills in a hand. Well done. Well played. Zeno coming in second place, finishing off their play with 9 kills. The team there, of course, from Death Row in third place, finishing off with 7 kills. Then, of course, we've got the White Wolves in fourth with 2 we have the players here from the Wolf Pack over in fifth place, finishing off their play with eight kills. And of course, the Masala Bomb team coming in in sixth place with nine kills. We've got uh, the players here from Maverick and Co. That is killing it. Uh, finishing off in seventh place with three kills. We've got the Escapades in eighth place with one. And of course, we've got the players here from Team Sync in ninth place, finishing with five kills. Halo in tenth place, coming in with seven kills in 10th the aces of course finishing up in 11th place coming in with eight kills as well then we had the star finishing well that is resurrection resurrected whatever that one okay <laughs> dizzy and company finishing off in 12th place with five kills we got mafia with one kill in 13th then of course we got the players here from the unknown sovereigns finishing off in 14th place kill or die in 15th place with one we have the players also then coming in from, I'll tell you now, this is Leaf. Yes, Hidden Leaf finishing off in 16th place with one. Genocide finishing in 17th with two plays. We've got the players here from Godibus in 18th place with one. Then we have the Agent Esports team in 19th place. Zany, of course, finishing up in 20th place with one. We got Aimbot and Teammate there with one kill in 21st. Skuku finishing in 22nd. We got the Rotators finishing off in 23rd place. And then, of course, we got the players here from Freeze. Uh, yeah, Freeze Gaming. There we go. Finishing off in 24th place. All right. So, well, there we go. There we have it. That brings us to the end of our first match of the evening. We've got two more to come, but of course, well, this was the Sanok one. Next up, we've got Erangle. So, be sure not to go anywhere. We'll be back with you shortly. And yeah, stay tuned.
what's up guys welcome back right well we're about to jump on in to the next match which of course is going to be all the way over on the irangle map so well yeah let's see what is going to happen what these teams are going to get up to but of course waiting for everyone to load on in so we can get the party started of course you've seen the ad running on the broadcast now twice first time without audio second time with audio so of course as you see we are doing a giveaway to the top fragger for the month of feb so be sure to enter into the scrims, participate. And if you are the top fragger, you can win yourself a very, very nice prize. But of course, well, yeah, we're just waiting now to see what is going to be happening in, well, the match. And waiting for these players to get on in. There's 70-something people in. Uh, yes, but of course, well, same teams are participating on Erangel. Let us know in the chat who do you think is going to clutch it out for the Erangel match. And of course, after Erangel, we've got the Miramar one coming up. So, changing things up ever so slightly in between the games. So yeah, give us your thoughts. Let us know who do you think is going to be clutching it out. And of course, well, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please consider doing so as it really helps out the channel. But of course, well, yeah, let's see how this one goes. People are taking so long to join. There we go. Match has started. We're about to head on over in towards the wrangle. So uh, let's just have it all load up. And then, of course, without much further ado, you know what we're going to do. We're going to jump straight on in to the action. So let's see. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. And here we are. All right. So, well, as you can see, everyone now just running about, trying to get everything done and sorted. As, uh, as per usual, sorry, I got distracted there for a second. <laughs> uh, we got the players there, of course, from Res or the staff rather. We got the SAGC staff or Resurrection Resurrected. That's really weird, but whatever. Over in slot one, we've got Resurrection. Over in slot three, we've got the players from Agent Esports. Over in four, Mafia in five. We've got the Wolfpack over in 6, we've got Deathrow in 7, we've got Genocide in 9, the players there from the Unknown Sovereigns over in 10, over in 11, we've got the Sons of Anarchy over in slot 12, we've got Kill It, let's hope they kill it this round, <laughs> of course we've got Skuku over in 13, we've got Zeno Esports in 14, Kill or Die over in 15, Halo in 16, the team from Sync over in 17, the players from Freeze Gaming over in slot 18, the Masala Bomb team in 20. We've got the players there, of course, from the Hidden Leaf over in 22. In 23, we've got the White Wolf. 24, we have the Zany Aura team. And, of course, the Rotators over in slot 25. Ooh, fan out of air. All right, so here we've got the Flight Path, of course, coming in. As you can see, coming right across the Osnaya there and heading straight on down into that Soznovgum military base. So let's see where and uh, how the teams are going to drop down. Where, of course, that first zone is going to be going. And let us know, give us your thoughts, tell us who do you think is going to clutch it out for this round. As you, of course, we've got a very easterly flight path. So it does limit the access to the map ever so slightly. But of course, that also kind of forces the teams to drop down into very similar positions. So let's hope for that and see where these teams decide to go. Alright, so we've got two teams heading straight on into Lepovka. We've got uh, Zany and Co. Heading on right over into the play, <laughs> into Mansion. Three teams up in the north here. So that is, of course, the players from the Unknown Sovereigns. We've got the players over here, of course, from the Killer Team and a Halo right there alongside them. The White Wolves and Rares are actually now pushing straight on into that Soznovka military base. Let's see. Let's quickly jump into the podcast. By now, they should have weapons. We've got three teams right here. That, of course, being the players from Masala Bomb. We've got the players there from Mafia. And also the team there from the Sons of Anarchy making their way around. Let's jump on over to Reaper. He's got an SKS in hand. Shoddy on the back. And we're still falling. Still falling. I love it how... Uh, we are able to fall for such a long time. 
don't know what's up with that, but well, hey, 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 here we are. Right, so the players here from Mafia making their way around. Trying to move on into position. They know there's two other teams occupying the same space. Let's see. So we've got a few sound effects, of course, now in the background, as you can hear, just to just to add to that kind of dramatical effect, you know. Thanks, game. It's fantastic. All right, so, well, the players, they're moving right on out the Sons of Anarchy, as you can see, heading on off. We've got two teams over in the Sosnovka military base. Let's quickly jump on in and see what we got cooking. You can see the Nidus, of course, just taking a few shots already. There we go. We are not falling anymore. We got a Hulk just up ahead of Leonidas. Hulk actually is very, very close. See the remainder of the squad now starting to move on up. Maximus, Nugget, and Jigsaw. It is a bit of a puzzle, but let's see what these players are going to be doing. Will we see a clutch come out from the Wolves? There we go. So a few shots now coming in there from Jigsaw. Alpha, of course, getting knocked out in the process. You can see Lost now seems a little bit lost right here on the edge. Got a nice little rotation coming up there from Nugget as well. Nugget and his teammate actually rushing on around the edge. Oh, yes, and it pays off Maximus with the maximum effort right there. Good nugget now trying to move on up. Oh, just ducks in behind that container before Hulk could get the hits in. But of course, second time's the charm. Finds the hits right in towards Nugget. We got Jigsaw and Leonidas, of course, now starting to move on up. Maximus, of course, also rotating up, as you can see on that mini map. Oh, those nades are getting scarily close. So we've got Alpha slowly but surely bleeding out. We've got Lost bleeding out. Oh, there we go. Maximus just clutches it out all the way around. Well, that's how it's done. Well done. All right, so let's see if we can jump into the next fight. A few players, of course, making their way around the western side of the map. Not looking too crazy just yet. But of course, you can see the zone has shifted up in towards the northern portion. The players there from Masala Bomb actually just uh, bombarding the team over here in Lipovka. Let's see. Up they come. Mafia now in quite a bit of trouble. Ash now, the last remaining player, just trying to hide on out. Oh! Bombs one, bombs two. What? He clutches it out. Well done to Ash. That was just astonishing. <laughs> but well done. That was that was amazing. If I ever saw clutch, that was a really decent clutch. <laughs> well done. That was <laughs> Woo! just made it in time. Huh? Talk about timing. That was just in the nick of time. Well. If you didn't see that, rewind and watch it again. That was insane. Well done. All right. So, well, we've got 19 teams still remaining. With the players there from Genocide, of course, right here over in Fairy Pier. We got the players, of course, from the staff. Oh, well, also known as the Resurrection Resurrected. That's a mouthful. But whatever. Here they are down over in Primorsk. We got Aimbot now succumbing to injuries there. We got the players, of course, here from the Rotators now just busy rotating all around. We got Sons of Anarchy now about to head on up in towards Rozok. We got the players, of course, right over here being from Killet making their way around as well. We got the Agent Esports team, as you can see, up in North George. We got Freeze in South George. We got Halo over in the shooting range. And then, of course, the players over here from the Unknown Sovereigns up in Savoni. Right up in Yasnaya, we have the players there from Team Sync. Doing a lot of syncing, waiting, planning. Yes, we'll see how that pays off. Of course, now the players here from Skuku making their way around as well. Right over here in the Nova Crates. But of course, there's no one near them for miles. 
We have the players there from Hidden Leaf as well. She just saw down over towards the far southern regions of the zone. So waiting to see where these teams are going to be moving on up into. Who's going to give us the next bit of action? Maybe it will come in from here as the Sons of Anarchy are making a rotation on, up over in towards Georgia Ball. Ooh, there we go. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, this is going to be the action we've been waiting for. Agent Esports just up ahead. Quite fairly spread out. So we've got Bloodshot there on the one side with his teammate. The Anarchy now just making their way around. Let's see. Will Bloodshot and uh, Havoc move up and cause some Havoc here? Of course, we got uh, Nagan and Trizzy just off in the distance as well slowly but surely starting to move on up into position we had that plane overhead as well i don't know where it's going but we got a flare off in the far distance there so three players moving up but four players in fact for agent trizzy now doing parkour but the dangerous version you know just jumping off roofs <laughs> the players there from hidden leaf of course now starting it to get a quick few shots in in the kill feed let's see if we can quickly jump in and get in on that action oh there we go quick a few sneak shots cash now moving up puts the hits right into maximus oh down goes moon up comes cash jigsaw now trying to get the hits in nuggets now also moving into position So one player knocked on each side. It's now 2v2 plus a knock. Nugget just dropping his nuggets right there. Keep up popping off quickly shots. A lot of pre-fire now. There we go. Maximus getting res back up. Jigsaw now moving in. Maximus. Oh, oh. Nugget going at it. A lot of back and forth. Blue zone, of course. Now slowly but surely starting to move up pretty soon Get some mollies coming into the mix nugget steps up and puts a beautiful hit into kiba cash now just dropping down trying to breathe up comes nugget Oof. what's that what's that kiba goes down quick first Ooh, some more shots on the outside cash taking damage down goes nugget up comes Jigsaw, down he goes, Savage now, ooh, he's nowhere near. Oh, that's a fat rip, right there. That's pretty much the end of their team. Well done, well played though. The players there from Rez, making a beautiful comeback. Right, so, the Sons of Anarchy, ooh. Getting hit right in the window. Bloodshots just stepping up with that Uzi. Putting the hits right in. You can hear the DB28, of course, going off in the background as well. All players still remaining for Agent. Still the same three players here for Sons of Anarchy. So you got Aimbot, Daddy, and Smeegs. The two remaining players, but of course, they might try and move on into their teammate to get that res going. Yes, here we are. Poison now about to get res right back on up. Ooh, bloodshot. Getting shot at. Ooh, that Uzi just sounds super dangerous. Havoc, of course, now keeping a watchful eye here. You can see bloodshot now just prepping that Uzi up once again. Blue zone, as you can see, of course, making its way in towards the players here. Just catching up with him. But of course, now the players there from Mafia also starting to pop off a few shots. As you can see, the things starting to light on up in the kill feed. Let's see where that's at. Ooh, that's over in Lepovka still. All right, as we jump into this, you can see Trev now just getting knocked on out. So Sink now pushing up. The players there from Skuku also going head to head with Zeno. Got a drop coming down as well. That is definitely what has drawn in the attention of the players here from Sink. You can see Mafia now down to the two final remaining players, that being Ash and Sho. You can see the hits still coming into the kill feed. 
quite a few spots where the teams are actually just battling it out mafia now of course scored in a very tough one right here the players from sync trying to sink their boat let's see will they be able to pull that one off the ooh, the utilities of course now flying up in all directions oh we've got about two and a half minutes remaining until the zone shifts up once again that is one of the longer zones I have seen in almost forever. Oh, there we go. Ash now getting pushed. Oh, just lets it fly. With the Mark 14. Mm. D-E-D. -D. Down he goes. Right, so you can see the players there from Halo also just lighting things up in the kill feed. Let's quickly jump up and see any action. Still some decent numbers remaining. Late 80, of course, now taking quick few shots. We've got Maverick now starting to move on up. Maverick, of course, being the last remaining player for the team here. As you can see, Hydra and King Club both getting knocked out. There we go. Lufin right up ahead. Ooh, Zeno also now just battling it out still, as you can see there in the kill feed. Skuku. Ah. Let's see, will Maverick be able to hold on long enough? It's definitely not going to make it up to his teammates. But of course, AD now starting to move on up. Just moving in behind that rock. Moving in bit by bit. Maverick finds the hit. Ooh. Skuku still just lighting it up. Zeno, I'm pretty sure they've just been sent back into the lobby. You can see Jigsaw putting in a hit. And of course, now down goes Maverick. Caleb... Landing that finishing blow. Let's quickly jump up here to the players from Genesis. We've got a Halo finally. Well, yeah, wrapping things up. Let's see, let's see. Sons of Anarchy also getting hit. In fact, I think they might have been sent back. Yes, they have indeed. All right, so, well, Genocide right here alongside the players from Resurrection. Let's see, will Tristan and Casey or Cassie or whatever this one be able to make it out? If I mispronounce your name, just accept it. I have then changed your name and given it the true pronunciation. If you don't agree with me, well, sorry. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. Oh, you can see Maximus just lighting things up there with Tristan. Of course, now Casey, Cassie, Casey, Cassie. Right here, this one. It looks like Cassie. Let's go with Cassie. Whatever. All right, so you can see the rest team up ahead making their way on in. Maximus on the approach. Out for blood once again. Quickly getting some loot. You can see Cassie just off in the distance there as well. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Definitely no cover on that side. But of course, down they go. It is done and dusted. 14 teams remain. We've got a Halo moving back on in towards zone. We've got the players here from Agent also heading on up in towards zone. Let's jump up here into Watertown and see we've got, what we've got cooking. The rotators have rotated up into position right here on the top watchtower. It's kind of the only one. But whatever. The players up ahead there from Wolfback. Let's see. Are they going to get it? So a lot of back and forth. Of the players. You know, this not not the shot part, but the, the movement part. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> there we go. Agent just knocking on the door there, just going tappity tap. And uh yeah, sending some players back. Let's quickly jump up here to Rez. We just had a quick few shots fly in as well over towards Skuku. Right, so they're trying to get those long-range hits in. Let's jump back over to Watertown. So the rotators now just trying to rotate on up. The players, of course, now moving in right behind them here from the wolf pack. They are hungry. They are thirsty. They are out for blood and in hot pursuit. You see death just up ahead. The shots, of course, now flying in. Ooh, grizzly and trees in the way. Let's jump up to death. 
He's the last remaining player for the rotators. He's now rotating up onto the roof. Bit by bit. Down goes Miki. He might be in a bit of trouble. Not the best amount of health left. Ooh, Dalen. That molly was OP. Unfortunately, it didn't go where it needed to go. Oh, oh, look at this, Nate. Look at this. Bah! Death. Just battling right there with some death. Man, it is getting closer and closer. Up they come. Oh, sends death right back into the lobby. All right, so, well, 12 teams remain. We've got a halo all the way up over in that northwestern portion of the zone. Skuku and Rez, of course, still battling it out right over here in the near central portion of the zone itself. Light with that quick car 98 shot. Just putting the hits right in. But of course, the Rez team right here at the drop that you can see coming down. Let's see what goodies they've got. Ooh, a Mach 14 and an Og. Here we go. Definitely going to be quite handy. Got the players here from Kill or Die, of course, now just patiently keeping an eye on their Mrs. Joan and Flash. But of course, the shots now flying up into the smoke. As you can see, there is no one in the smoke, but the rest team definitely now mobilizing themselves. Getting ready to crash the party here. Jigsaw rushing right past them. Nugget. And Maximus following suit. They also may be trying to get out of the red zone. And they successfully do so, no surprise. But of course, well, we've got the players here from Halo and Agent Esports very close together. Here we go, Light finding yet another hit on Skuku. But of course, the players here from Halo just letting it rip right into Agent. Let's see, will they get their hits? Right, so as you can see, they of course now just tending to their wounded. A nice 2-2 two -two split actually coming up here. Bloodshot and Trizzy now just trying to find those hits. Oh, the shots now, of course, flying right back towards them. Ah, Bloodshot is now Bloodshot as he kind of jumps out of the vehicle by accident. Or maybe it was on purpose. We'll never know. Let's just go with that one. Right, so let's see, let's see any other potential spots for some action. Nope, it seems like this is pretty much it. Ooh, just look up ahead. Nagan now just putting those hits right into Halo. Ooh, they're starting their pincer attack. AD now getting hit as well. We could jump up to Havoc, as you can see. Them trying to get a few shots across. But of course, Deadshot and Trizzy still just keeping a watchful eye on the top side here. Ooh, Dizzy. Popping in a quick few hits of his very own. Ooh, there we go. Up comes the blue zone, adding that extra little bit of difficulty to this position. But of course now Halo is being forced to move out. Ooh, down goes Caleb. You see AD of course now just trying to clean the windows in the process.
Up comes the blue zone once again. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got some rotations happening here as well. The players there from Wolfpack trying to find their way on in. Let's see, let's see. Right, so as you can see, the team is now starting to move in from the south. Ooh, but of course, the players here from Death Row going head to head, toe to toe with Rez. Kill or die getting hit in the process as well. Oh, Lazarus getting hit in the head. Mac now quickly trying to get that Rez in. A few long range hits actually coming in. You can see them all the way. Where were they coming from? Oh, from over there. Sink coming in with a third party. So Potato and Shunu now the two remaining players there for Sink. And of course now Red starting to move on up. We've got the players there from Wolfpack of course just up ahead as well. Rushing in, turning up the heat. Oh, Prince now just trying to put in the shots, but it's not enough. Rez just rushes on in and sends them backing. Of course, now a few more teams starting to rotate on up from that southern portion of the zone. Halo is still alive. They're now getting caught out in the blue zone. Tries to put a quick few shots in. Oh, down it goes 80. Caleb now also just succumbing to the blue zone. And of course, while well, the players are heading right back on in to that lobby. You see Bloodshot has managed to rotate on up into zone alongside his teammate Trizzy here. But the hits are now flying in there from the wolf back. Oh, quick hits, quick reflexes. You see the players here from Agent now just uh, caught in a very tough position. Nine teams remain. And that is pretty much it. Except for Mr. Trizzy, the lone survivor. The rest of the team of just getting thinned out and getting sent back into the lobby. Flash, just risking it out in the open here. Pretty, pretty exposed. But of course, now you can see the players there from Rez already rushing on into zone. The players here now moving on up. This, of course, being the players from the Unknown Sovereigns. Trying to dash on into zone, trying to get a decent position, but of course, Striker getting knocked out in the process. We got Titus, of course, just holding up right here behind this vehicle, just hovering about in the air, as one does when in, you know, when you when you're in a scrum. That's what you do. There we go. It makes you move around near silently, but of course, now the players here from Freeze getting hit in the process. Ooh. Titus just putting those heads in. Connor actually not moving up. Titus taking a few shots in the process. I don't know why Connor didn't take that shot. He had a perfect angle. You see the race team now starting to move on up as well. Right here alongside the players. Of course here from the Unknown Sovereigns. The other, the other half of uh, the team. Ooh, Jigsaw coming in with a beautiful hit in on Shark. You can see how far away he is. That was a beautiful hit. Well done. Uh, light now lighting it up. Putting the shots right into Ghost. We got Psychodelic, of course, right here on the edge as well. Trying to pop off a quick few nades. Put down a few smokes, just trying to cover up as much as they possibly can. And the players here from Wolfpack, of course, now on the approach as well. Alright, so everyone getting ready to move bit by bit. Let's jump back over here to Psychedelic. Ooh, we can see Skuku, of course, now starting to move on up as well. Move on up. Yes, there's a new way of saying it. In case you didn't know. <laughs> All right, so Ayaz. Just dashing on up into zone. We got Akib. And Tiger also now moving up. 
Ooh, the players there from Freeze getting caught out in the blue zone. A really tough spot to be in. But of course, look at this zone. Ah, we got Rez right there. We got Psychedelic lying in wait. Skuku coming under fire. The players, of course, from Freeze now just getting hit all over the place. Shot after shot. Nova just managing to make it on up into zone in one piece. But of course, the shots have not stopped just yet. Psychedelic actually now just popping up a few shots in between the trees. Here's the players from Rez, of course, trying to find their way around. You see Dizzy now also taking a quick few shots as the players there from the wolf pack are starting to tap away at them. So we've got Skuku still alive. Ooh, Flash popping quickly shots in towards Rez, but Shark now trying to move on up right here to Psychedelic. Dizzy also trying to pop in a quick few shots. Caught right there behind the vehicle and the rock. So that's literally a rock and a hard place. Hmm. Nice. Alright, so well, Flash off in the distance. We got Psychedelic now trying to move on up, but Flash. Ooh! Psychedelic actually with a quick reaction. They're just popping the hits right on off. But of course, down he goes. Shark finds those final few shots and sends him packing. Out comes Nova now moving up for the free team. And down they go back into the lobby. Maximus just ending it off right there. But of course, Flash still alive. Just sneaking on up into zone. You can see five teams remaining. Two of the five teams already in zone. Almost three. Right, so we got a wolf back and Rez in zone. We got a kill or die. As you can see Flash now. Slowly but surely moving on up into that zone. And of course, while the remainder of the squads trying to rush on in, we got Skuku making a run for zone. Right alongside them, we've got the players here from Rez. Rez something, that Rez. <laughs> Caught on out in the blue zone. Maximus just tapping away, putting those hits right in. Dizzy dropping down, bops a quick shot into Corey, but it's not enough. Skuku comes in from behind, puts up a beautiful third party, sends in backing, but of course now Jigsaw is just laying down the fly over to a Wolfback. Hit after hit, shot after shot, three teams remaining. And of course, we're still waiting to see whether or not Skuku is going to be able to make it on up into the zone. So two players for Skuku, two players for the Wolfpack, and of course two players remain for the Rez team. Ooh, there we go. Skuku now coming under fire. Ooh, that nade looks beautiful. Mm, down goes Maximus. There we go. Beautiful hit. Down goes Corey. Right, so Wolf now the last remaining player here for the Wolf pack. So technically this is a, a 1v1v1. Three players remaining. Pretty sure Corey is not going to make it. Yep. He did. Now Skuku also down to their last player, which is Tiger, as you can see, just up ahead. But the Rez team now has been able to Rez up their player. They are now getting ready to move on in. Tiger still needs to find his way on up into zone. You can see this is, of course, a quite exposed region to move on into. Everyone now just deploying those smokes. Trying to put in an extra bit of cover. But, of course, Tiger is not wasting any time with that. He just finds the hits. But, of course, gets taken out by Rez in the meantime. All right. So, well done to Resurrection. Clutching that chicken with 20 kills. Goodness gracious. Of course, the players there from Skuku coming in second place, finishing their playoff with nine kills. We've got the players then, of course, from the Wolfback finishing in third place with eight kills. We've got the Resurrection Resurrected team, a lot of them, um, with three kills in fourth place. Kill of Die making it up to fifth with one. We've got the players there from Freeze in sixth place with one kill. Then, of course, we've got the Unknown Sovereigns over in seventh place with two kills. We've got Agent finishing off in eighth place with six kills. We have the players from Sync making it all the way up in towards ninth place with three kills. Then, of course, Halo going out with four kills in 10th place. We had Death Row finishing off with one in 11th. We got the players, of course, from Zany finishing off their play in 12th place. Then we have the Rotators rotating up into 13th place. Mafia finishing off in 14th with six kills. We got the players there from Genocide in 15th place. Sons of Anarchy in 16th place. Of course, have the players... 
coming in from killing it over in 17th place. Uh, the team there from Zeno Esports finishing up in 18th place. Then, of course, the team from Hidden Leaf in 19th with one. We got the Masala Bomb team in 20th with one. And the White Wolves getting sent back into the lobby first. So, well, there we go. There we have it. I should probably breathe. Um, Yeah, finishing up our second match of the evening. Of course, we've got one more to go. That is going to be taking us right towards the Miramar map. So, well, don't go anywhere. And of course, let us know in the chat who do you think is going to clutch it out in the upcoming round. But of course, well, without much further ado, here we go. See you guys back in a short bit.
What's up guys welcome back uh pushing funny buttons here today but whatever here we are here we are as you see of course we had to give we have a giveaway going all the info was just there on the ad if you missed it uh <laughs> go back and watch it again um it's also on all the social media so be sure to uh yeah enter yourself to stand a chance to win those crazy prizes as you can see of course it's 100 you see it's royal pass it's the crate of uh of uh, some Tonino Lamborghini energy drinks and of course there was something else a surprise gift yes that's the other one but of course yeah there we go there we go there we go so just waiting to see if everyone's going to join in for the last final match we are heading over in towards that Miramar map so well yeah let's see let's see let's see the teams are going to be going head to head once again give us your predictions in the chat as per usual let us know who do you think is going to be clutching and out and winning the Miramar one. As you can see, of course, we've had a, quite a few interesting matches so far. So, well, yeah, just waiting on this last lineup to see what the teams are going to be doing and, uh, yeah, where they go. So, right, well, the map is busy loading up. We're about to jump into the action that we can see which teams are in the lobby. And, of course, well, eventually then where that flight path is going to be taking us as well as that first initial zone. Right, so, come on. I don't know why this thing loads so slow sometimes, but whatever, here we are. As you can see, of course, everyone now making their way around. We have the players there from Res Resurrection, Res 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 um, <laughs> Resurrection Resurrected. There we go. They are over in slot one. We've got the players from the Aces over in two. We have the players there, of course, from Resurrection over in slot three. We've got the team there from Agents Esports in four. We've got Mafia over in five. We've got the players from Wolfpack over in slot six. Death Row over in slot seven. We've got the Unknown Sovereigns over in ten in slot 12. We've got the players there from Killing It. We've got Skuku in 13. We've got Zeno Esports in 14. Kilodai in 15. Halo in 16. In 17, we've got the players there from Team Sync. Of course, over in 18, we've got the players there from Freeze Gaming. We've got the Masala Bomb team over in 20. We've got the White Wolves in 23. We have Zany Aura in 24. And then, of course, the Rotators over in slot 25. The Flight Path is taking us from all the way on that eastern side of the map, heading straight over towards the trailer park. Of course, this day, you know, crossing over... Hacienda del Patron, San Martin, and the Greater Field. So, some interesting spots there for the teams to drop on down into. But, of course, well, let's see where they go. And how they utilize the zone. So, yeah, give us your predictions in the chat. Let us know who do you think is going to be clutching it out for this match. And, then of course, we'll see how accurate that is. But, yeah. Got a few teams already heading straight down. Halo right here alongside another team. Who is, of course, the players, as you can see there, from the Unknown Sovereigns. So two teams heading up in the direction there of Impala. Waiting to see where they're going to be dropping down. Of course, several more teams making their way on out. But yeah, as per usual, give us your predictions. Leave a like alongside your comment. And of course, if you have not done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it really helps out the channel. Alright, so, ooh, quite a few players dropping out there close to El Pozo. 
As you can see, they're now starting to make their way on down. A few teams also hitting up in the direction of Picardo. Let's see, what do we have over here? Seems like... No, it's just one team. All right, so, well, there we go. There we go. Zany now just making their way around. Picardo might be a fairly hot drop as we've got Mafia and the players from Rez now, of course, just heading on in. You can see Rez now right up at the top and Mafia, the first team down. But unfortunately, they are not close enough to acquire any weapons in time. Right, so let's see. Let's see what is the rest looking like. We've got Skuku, of course, making their way on in, as you can see. Very close to Monte Nuevo. And we've got the players from Kilo Die just up ahead slowly, but surely just coasting their way on in to zone. But Rez, of course, now taking full advantage of being the first team over in Picardo. Just popping those heads straight into Mafia. So you can see Trev and Sho now being the last two remaining players here for the Mafia team. Oh, down goes Sho. Sho. Trev now moving up. Trying to get on over to his teammate. Fortunately, they do have some hot cover in in, in their favor. <laughs> uh, come on. All right. Where, 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 where? All right. So Impala is starting to clear up ever so slightly. We've got the rotators, of course, all the way up in the north there of Inno Aces. So let's see. Skuku moving up bit by bit. Yeah, all right, so this is pretty much the place to be. Let's see if we can uh, get in on this action. Will the players here from the Resurrection Resurrected be able to pop off their heads? Shark now starting to move on up. You can see the team here from Mafia quite exposed out in the open. Not a lot of cover to make use of there, but of course you see Wolf and Dizzy also moving up there alongside Shark. Is Trev now trying to move up? Right, so this is a, a slow start here to the Miramar map. Fortunately, all the teams are just about in zone. Aside from uh, one or two straggling teams off on the far edges. But of course, once that blue zone starts closing in, the teams will then have no other choice other than to rotate on up into zone. And, uh, you know, get the party started. There we go. Ooh, Skuku and Kilo die taking an engagement. That is what we want to see. Let's jump on in. Can we get there? Come on. Here we go. Kilo die and Skuku now just going head to head. Got Mrs. Jones keeping a watchful eye right there on the edge. The GI Joe, of course, now just moving up a little bit, trying to change things up. But of course, now Shark taking that engagement here with Mafia. Up comes the rest team now just rushing on in. Amen. Now being the last remaining player for the team. And well, no. <laughs> Down he goes. He's the last one back to the lobby. Skuku, of course, now still moving up right here alongside the players from Kilo Dai. They've managed to heal everyone back up. But Flash, of course, now keeping a very watchful eye right here on the edge. You can hear that plane overhead. There we go. They find the first hit. Flash now. Ooh, pops the shot into G.I. Joe. But of course, Flash manages. Well, this is Flash and Flash. Hmm. <laughs> Only saw it now. Right, so Tiger, of course, also just keeping a watchful eye here. Waiting for Flash to move up so Flash can find an angle on him. You can see Ayaz is now also starting to rotate up. Trying to find that angle on Flash. Of course, now Flash is also getting ready to move on up. Just repositioning ever so slightly. Here we go. Akib now starting to push on in. 
Flash, of course, now leading the push here right on up into this uh, this auditorium or the arena, whatever you would like to call it. So Skuku now moving up. Strong numbers pushing forward. Ooh. Flash with a quick flash attack of Flash. hesitation right there on the edge but of course now mrs jones and gi joe starting to push on in so you got tiger and akib gi joe now not wasting a moment just rushing straight on in mrs jones tries to step on up gets hit in the process up comes gi joe very low on health oh down they go getting sent right on in to that lobby but of course, now we've got 17 teams remaining. Halo also now starting to pop off a few shots as we saw in the kill feed. So let's quickly jump on over to them. You can see they're now just trying to find the angle on the players here from the Unknown Sovereigns. Got some nades coming in there from Caleb. Trying to find their way across over towards Titus. we got Ghost and Psychedelic Striker also just holding up. There we go. Ghost now starting to rotate up the one side. 23 now caught in that building. Makes a quick dash for safety, but of course now lays down a few hits in the process. Ghost now of course in hot pursuit. And, ooh, 23 trying to pop in a few more shots. Striker getting down in the process. Titus now also just holding up there. Ghost still just trying to fend off the players. They're trying to move on in. Fortunately for him, they kind of assumed that he was on the staircase. Here we go, Uzi at the ready. Down goes Titus, so it is now up to Ghost and Psychedelic. Oh, down goes Psychedelic, so everything now riding on Ghost. He manages to sneak on up over towards Striker to get that res going, but of course, here comes the players from Halo. Rushing right in. Oh, down they go. The Unknown Sovereigns getting sent right on back into the lobby. The players, of course, now as you can see here from Killing It, right there alongside the team from Zeno. So let's see who's going to get the clutch. Ooh, up comes a beautiful nade. Roach now, of course, just trying to sneak on in. Pretty close here to the power plant. But of course now Roach just capitalizing on the terrain, just sneaking around. Oh, finds a beautiful hit. So one down, two to go. Gets a quick first in as well. So you can see King Clip and Hydra now just holding up right there alongside the tree. Down goes King Clip. Hydra now. Oh, also gets thirsted and down they go. So Zeno adding in a few more kills to the kill feed there. Well done. But of course, you can see the players there from death row also now. What? I think they just blew themselves up. <laughs> Oh, man, that was a very, very effective nade, I have to say. That was extremely well done. Takes quite a bit of skill to knock out the rest of your team. Yourself included. So you can see Lazarus, Prince, Bluch, and Pikes. <laughs> uh, Lazarus is not having any of this. He's just like, nah, I'm a runaway. I'm just trying to stay ahead of those nades. Before they find their way on in once again. Well, we've got 15 teams now remaining. The rotators are sitting quite comfortably up there in La Cobrera. So we saw them rotate on up from the Oasis. But of course now Halo is on the move. They might actually move on in right here behind the players. That you can see just up ahead. This of course being the players from Zany Aura. They're also very close to the players from Freeze. So we'll be keeping a watchful eye, seeing whether or not they'll be gonna, whether or not they'll be pushing in on each other. Very close proximity. There you go. So Halo now making their rotation, taking the long way around. Let's have a quick look and see. All right, so you can see the teams are still quite spread out. No one really close enough to go 
you know, really ham with any of those engagements. But of course, the players here from Freeze just uh, trying to make the most of this drop. Just holding the position, waiting to see if anyone's going to try and move up. So Zaini, of course, just off in the distance over towards that northeast. Doesn't seem like they're too interested in taking any engagements. But of course, now we've got the Skuku team over in Monte Nuevo. That zone, of course, now shifting up once again. We've got Maximus and Co. now just moving in, in towards San Martin. The White Wolves, of course, just off in the distance over towards that southwest. So slowly but surely, these teams are starting to converge on each other's positions. The zone, of course, shrinking in slowly but surely. So no clear indications of any engagements just yet. Waiting to see what's going to happen here with the White Wolves. Will the players here from Resurrection move on up and start taking those engagements? Or will the two teams miss each other completely and maybe just move on up in towards a different angle? Alright, so the rest team is getting close. Really, really close. But of course, now the players here from the Masala Bomb team, they've rotated all the way up in to La Cobrera as well. Where the rotators are holding the position, holding the fort. Let's see, will they be able to defend their position? I'm pretty sure they're unaware of the Masala Bomb team up ahead. Yep, just judging on Grizzly's looting there. I'm pretty sure they are completely oblivious to the opposing team just off in the distance here. But you can see Reaper and Ariri, they are potentially suspecting players being up ahead. A lot of cautious movements. Ooh, there we go. Yep. The White Wolves are getting hit as the rest team. It's now just making their way around. So Beast, of course, now just uh, hovering around ever so slightly. You see the rest team now moving in, applying the pressure. So you get Nugget, Leonidas, Jigsaw, and Maximus. Maximus, of course, now coming around from the east. There we go. Up goes the first. We got Skuku also just off in the distance, but now lost, getting lost to the damage there. Beast now, of course, moving up. Trying to stay as well hidden as possible. He's trying to do a little bit of a third party peeking there. Not working out 100%. But it is difficult to do while being prone. But of course, we have a slight bit of a development. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go back. Let's go back. Beast was taking aim. All right, so he might have shot off a few hits there. Yeah, you can see the players now from race starting to. Change the approach, sending a few nades across as well. We've got the players there from Agent Esports also just off over towards the south. So let's see, will Beast now be able to hold this position? Or will Rez be able to flush him out? So Chiro and Insane now just moving up on the top of the ridge here. They haven't heard any of those engagements down below just yet, but of course now jumping over to Masala Bomb, you can see them moving in on the players here from the Rotators. We still have Reaper and Riri, some R&R. &R. But it still seems like the Rotators are still pretty oblivious. Not seeing any defensive or offensive movers, maneuvers coming in here. Ooh, never mind that. Riri gets spotted out right there by Pictus.
So now the fight is on and Beast gets found out and sent right on into the lobby. 14 teams remain. You can see Grizzly also taking position in that window. And waiting to see whether or not uh, Riri or Pictus is going to try and take these a the, the, the shots there. We've got Reaper also now just keeping a watchful eye. So the element of surprise is out the door. We've got Grizzly now moving up. Ooh. There we go. We got some action up on the ridge here. The ace is also now putting in a quick few shots as you saw in the kill feed. Here we got Chiro leading out slowly but surely. But Insane, of course, now just trying to dance around. Trying to get out of there while he still can. Right, so beautiful maneuver there, managing to escape the pressure. But of course, the players here from oh, Zeno coming under fire there from Skuku as they move on in. Skuku now just moving in, applying the pressure. And up they come. You can see Flash and Akib holding up on the western side. Ooh, lots of utilities now getting flung all over the place. Halo also now starting to engage. So you got Roach and Looney, the two players left over here and of course well we've got um Heineko, of course just off on the far edge here Ooh, caleb blowing himself up but the fight is on up they come moving in bit by bit Zeno now just trying to hold off the attack from skuku i see akib now just slowly but surely moving on in Team's now really starting to go at it. You see the team here from the Aces just tapping away the heads. Oh, Skuku gets the bounce. Bops the hits right into Zeno. But of course, Zeno comes in with a bit of a retaliation. They're putting the hits right in and sending, well, some of the players right back into the lobby. You can see Tiger, of course, now making quick dash for it. Heading on up in towards safety. So we are down to 13 teams. A few of them, of course, are starting to congregate on the southern portion of the zone. But of course, we still have the rotators all the way up in the north here. Alongside the two remaining players from the Masala Bomb team. Well, in fact, the only two. But they all need to get start getting, uh, getting on back into that zone. As they are quite some distance away. See everyone now just trying to move on in. Death Row now also just rotating up to that drop. We've got a Halo, of course, holding up at the drop right here. There we go. Getting ready to mobilize and head on into zone. Ooh, Insane might actually run right in to what is left of the Xeno team. Starting to take a little bit of a wide rotation, but of course we've got the Ace team just up ahead. Will Lucky be lucky? Will we see something insane come from this? Well, that definitely wasn't insane by any measure. But of course, the shots now starting to fly on in. The aces have spotted insane. The Zeno also not too far away either. As you can see them just there over towards the right-hand side of the screen. Good Robo and Lucky. Everyone now have their scopes f just drained on the position. We can see the smokes now just coming up. There we go. Insane now trying to make a quick dash for it. Oh, not a lot of hard cover to make use of. Fortunately, the terrain is quite uh, hillish. <laughs> quite a mountainous terrain. Let's see. Will he be able to clutch it out? Oh, the shot flies in. Insane really low on health. But of course, that blue zone is also starting to roll on in. We might be out of luck. You can see the aces now moving up. Trying to gatekeep the zone as much as they can. So they've spotted the vehicle. We know Insane is not too far away. Oh, just manages to move along the scope there. But of course, now Abi comes once again. Having changed over into another vehicle and down he goes. 
coming to the shots there from the aces but of course now they need to try and find their way on up in towards zone otherwise they would have all been for naught so let's see oh the players here from the resurrection resurrected team trying to take aim over towards the players there from team sync so Tr corona as we saw at the start of the match was the only player and he's managed to make it all the way up to here so far so good Got a few more hits now starting to fly in all over the place. The race team, of course, starting to take aim as everyone is trying to squeeze their own way on up in towards zone. Of course, the last remaining player for the Wolfback also being one of those players. See the freeze team just off in the distance there. Everyone's slowly but surely starting to rotate on in. Not sure where Tiger's going. But uh, we see the aces and Zeno, of course, getting pretty, pretty close. Zeno just keeping a very watchful eye on the aces. They've spotted the movement. Now they're just waiting for the opportunity for those angles to open up. Here we go. Down goes the first aces player. Lucky and Robo now also trying to move on up. They need to get on up into zone. Not a lot of options. They're definitely trying as much as they can. Trying to squeeze on up into that zone. But you can see Zeno just laying down the fire. Making it so difficult for them to find that angle. Find that approach into zone. Robo, of course, now just trying to outheal the zone. He is right on the cusp of that zone. Ooh, starts a little bit of a retaliation of his own. Gets the first few hits into Roach. But, of course, he is still exposed. Oh, now comes the hits from the rest of the Zeno team. You see Looney and Heineko now starting to take positions. Devil also just up on the top end there. So lucky at the current moment, not being too lucky. He still needs to find his way on up into zone. But of course, the blue zone is about to start moving up. Well, in fact, there it goes. The damage now going up exponentially from this point onwards. Let's jump on up into zones. You can see we've got three teams right here. The Resurrection Resurrected team right alongside the players from Resurrection. All right. And then, of course, we've got the player here from Team Sync. So a little bit of an exchange here between the two rest teams. Here we go, the Zeno team now starting to succumb to the blue zone. Not surprisingly, seeing that they were so far out in that blue zone and of course quite some distance away from the zone. So now we are down to 11 teams, 29 players remaining. Let's see who will be able to clutch out the last few stages of the game. The Aces of course now starting to pick off the players there from Zeno as they move on up. Let's see, you got Corona of course now just trying to say hello here to the rest team. Oh, nice play by Corona. One goes down. Trying to get the third. So two players already knocked out in the process. Oh, Freeze also getting hit by Zeno. The so one player remains for all the players in slot one. But Wolf finds the hit and takes out the only player there for the team from Team Sync. You see Zeno and the players there, of course, from Freeze. Very, very close together. Not a lot of distance between them. But, of course, now the players here from Resurrection just picking the shots off over towards Wolf. So, good Freeze still now going head-to-head -head here with the players, of course, from Zeno. As you can see, Zeno down to their last remaining player. Up comes Maddox. Oh, beautiful shot. And we are down to seven teams. Of course, now everyone's still just battling it out. The res team now pushing up on Mr. Wolf. This time is running out and Nugget finds the hits and sends him right on back. The team here from Death Row also now starting to move on in. Trying to come in with a, with a few third parties of their own. Here we go. Plug actually now starting to put their hits in, but of course gets knocked out in the process. Leonidas quickly knocking him out, as you can see, of course, now. Oh, Jigsaw and Leonidas, the two remaining players. Leonidas now not wasting any time, rushing straight on in. The rotator is actually getting hit by Halo. Up comes Leonidas. Beautiful third party timing that one catching them right there in the rest. Down goes yet another one. Lazarus 
getting knocked out in the process. So now everything is up to Prince. Oh, and Leonidas just finds the hits and sends them right there. Of course, now Halo battling it out here with the rotators. Shots, of course, now flying up in all directions. The rotators now trying to stay ahead of that blue zone. But so far, the players here from Halo making it really difficult. You can see 23 getting knocked out in the process. So death now the last remaining player for the rotators. Instead of... Uh, Sticking around for the fight. He is in fact trying to move on up. We've got Corey now actually just moving on in right as well. Popping the hits into rest. Taking too much time to get that, that thirst in on Nugget. Of course, uh, opening the gate up for Maximus to just swoop on in and get those hits going. But of course, as you can see, Halo and the players from the Rotators. Ah, never mind. The Rotators are dead. So Halo still caught out in the blue zone, trying to find their way on up and down they go. So we are down to our last two final teams. That, of course, being Zeno and the players there from the Resurrection team. So let's see. Will Heineken be able to stop them from getting yet another chicken? Or will it be easy claps here for the rest team? You can see Maximus and Leonidas, of course, now just moving up in the distance there. In a hunt pursuit, trying to search for it. The first shot comes in. Down goes Leonidas. Heineko, of course, dropping down. Oh, yes, there we go. Much better to jump down in hardcover. But, of course, Jigsaw is not wasting any time. He is moving right on up. Fortunately, Heineko has heard the movement. Up he comes. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, down goes Jigsaw. Nicely played. So this would be the moment. Let's see. Will Zeno be able to clutch this one out? And get that lovely chicken. They're already sitting on 10 kills. Six of those already being awarded here to Heineko. There we go. Some fishing into the smoke. Oh, but losing track of the action. At a very critical moment. See Maximus of course now just smoking things up. As he's trying to move on into potentially center zone. They know pretty much where Heineko is. Oh there we go. Shots up to Maximus. Heineko just missing out on that opportunity. So Maximus, of course, now applying pressure. Zone rotating up towards the north ever so slightly. So Heineko has to be very clever with this approach. But of course, as you can see on the minimap, the players there from Rez, they've started to move on up. So close to that zone. So close still. Yeah, so close yet so far. Let's see whether or not Zeno will be able to clutch this one out. Man, it could swing any which way from this moment. Oh, Leonidas just up ahead. Heineko not managing to find those hits in. You can see Maximus, of course, now starting to move up. Send some nades up top. Oh, down goes Maximus. Going in for the first now. Leonidas about to roll on up. That's Mixon. Oh, that's such an easy target. And down he goes. Finds the hits and sends him backing. Zeno coming in with a clutch right there. Finishing it off with 11 kills. Well done. Well played. The players from Rez, of course, finishing their own play with 9 kills in second plate. place. Second plate. <laughs> All right, the Halo team coming in in third place, finishing their play with 10 kills. Of course, then the Rotators in fourth place with four kills. We got the players there from, uh, well, Corey and Co. finishing up with one kill in fifth. We got the team from Death Row finishing up in sixth place. We have the other res team or, well, that long res name that I'm not going to say right now, finishing with five kills in seventh. 
Freeze finishing with two in eighth place. Then, of course, well, we've got Corona here finishing up in ninth place with two kills. We've got the Aces finishing off in tenth with five. We've got Skuku coming in eleventh with four kills. We've got the Masala Bomb team in twelfth place. The Aces, the Agent Esports team, rather, finishing in thirteenth place. Then, of course, Zany in fourteenth. The Wolves finishing in fifteenth place. We've got the team of coming in here from Kill It. Or killing it, finishing up in 16th place. Then, of course, we got the players here from the Unknown Sovereigns finishing in 17th. We got Kill or Die in 18th, and the Mafia team being sent back to the lobby first, but fortunately going out with one kill. All right, so well, there we go. There we have it. That brings us to the end of our games here for the Wednesday night scrims. I don't know what that was, but either way. If you guys do want to say a big thank you for everyone for watching. Thank you so much for all the teams for participating. And of course, a big shout out going in there to Tonino Lamborghini Energy Drink for making this possible. But there we go, guys. Hope you guys had a good evening. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And we look forward to seeing you back in the next one. So yeah, from us over here, thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic evening. See you in the next one.